Hey guys, welcome to the first video of this travel journal with me. Um, I wanted to try something new and to take you along uh, on our journeys, but also show you how we, how I fill a page in the adventure book and uh, kind of just having some bit longer chatty videos where we can talk about travel and have a cup of tea, um, just hang out together uh, while we fill in some pages and um, yeah, kind of have our experiences that filled that page um, together as well. So grab yourself a cup of tea, uh, get comfortable uh, while we uh, dive into this video. So as you can probably see, today's video is about China. We went there um, in January uh, 2019 and it was just for a day. Uh, it was absolutely a crazy 24 hours. We had a layover there um, when we came back uh, from Australia. And um, we thought, okay, we're going to make the most of this 24-hour layover and do a tour. But our China adventure actually starts uh, a little bit earlier than, um, than that. Because when, when we got to the airport in... Um, Brisbane? Was it Brisbane? Yes, Brisbane. Um, apparently there was a problem with our visa. Um, we, we had researched it and uh, we flew through China on our way to Australia and there was no problem. But apparently because we had a um, domestic flight, so we went from Brisbane to Guangzhou and then to Beijing and then we would go to Amsterdam. Um, but because the flight from Guangzhou to Beijing is obviously a domestic flight, apparently you do need a visa for that, which we didn't have. Our fault. Um, I thought we researched it probably, prob properly. Gosh, sorry. English isn't my first language. Um, and so we almost were not allowed on our flight. Um, they kind of just took us by the side and were like, okay, here's a phone number, call that and uh, book a new plane ticket, uh, basically. Um, so last minute, the, the woman at the desk uh, said she would allow us on the flight because um, alongside this issue of, of the domestic flight, it was also that our layover was super long. Um, so we would have, uh, we would arrive in, in China, like just after midnight on Tuesday, and we would leave China again just uh, after midnight on Wednesday. Um, so officially we would be there more than a day. Uh, but because it was just past midnight, she said, okay, we're going to allow you on the flight, but you'll have to sign this waiver that if you cannot travel any further after this flight, we are not responsible for you. So obviously it was super stressful, but we were like, okay, let's just do it because hopefully well, at least we'll be closer to home than where we are now. Uh, so we just hope for the best and well by that point like check-in had already closed so someone had to rush us through rush us through security uh, we just made it to our flight and this this woman just was running in front of us with our passports like this way this way uh, but very happy that we got got on the flight um, anyways and um, yeah, so 10 hours later when we arrived to China, we were super anxious because we didn't know what to expect. Um, so when uh, a Chinese person uh, that worked at the airport asked us, oh, okay, where, do you, where are you going? Okay, Amsterdam. Um, do you have a visa? I'm like, no, we don't have a visa. Um, he's like, okay, that way. And I was like, okay, is this a special office or what's happening here? But no, there was just this desk where lots and lots of other travelers just got a a day visa 
was apparently super normal to uh, to get just a, a pass, a, a visa on the day of. So I don't know really what happened and why it went wrong, but we got there in the end. Yay, Tiananmen Square. That was just extremely surreal to, to walk there in the morning did not really account for the weather. It was like minus 11 that morning and we just came from Brisbane, which was like 37 degrees and we did not pack winter coats. So that was pretty cold. So we didn't shoot a lot of content, a lot of videos because it was just like, okay, am I gonna shoot a video or am I gonna keep both all my fingers? <laughs> so <laughs> we, uh, we didn't take a lot of videos that day. Um, so anyways, uh, the, the whole China experience just continued when we arrived like at one in the morning in Beijing and we were so tired. We had planned to just get some sleep on the airport, um, and, uh, go on our tour in the morning. But, uh, this, this lady, she ushered us into a car like, oh, you have to sleep at the airport with the, um, the airport hotel and stuff like that and we were just so tired and all of a sudden we were like in a car and we were like oh gosh this is where I die uh, that felt so stupid uh, but in the end they did bring us to a hotel which was absolutely fine and uh, it's part of the travel experience and gosh I <laughs> can laugh about it now but uh, yeah we have to be more careful <laughs> um and uh, just got a few hours of sleep when we went to the tour. Um, this this little little bus where we first went to Tiananmen Square, and um, after that we went to the Great Wall of China, which was absolutely surreal. Um, we couldn't. I just I just couldn't believe that we were suddenly there from the last day, the, the day before being in a completely different country. And I mean, I, I don't know about you guys, but, but doesn't the Chinese wall feel like some something mythical to you? I mean, as a kid, like you would talk about the Chinese wall and uh, other places like Hawaii would be like the paradise on earth, but I never really imagined myself in some of those places. So absolutely crazy uh, to be there. Um, yeah, it was just it was just wonderful. We just had a great time there. Thankfully, it was very sunny the other day, so by the time it was in the afternoon, it was nice. It was sort of sort of warm, sort of it was doable. Uh, we could <laughs> get our hands out of our pockets. Um, but um, yeah, I've just been chatting about our China experience, but I have not been talking at all about what I've been doing on the page. Um, oh yeah, <laughs> here is Robin ascending or descending on the Great Wall of China. And he does a lot of silly walks. That's like his thing. And thinks he's kind of like a superman or that he's doing um what's it what's it called free running just <laughs> his version of free running uh but anyways uh back to the page um so as you can see i try to do a little bit of everything i don't really have a set style where i just like to draw or i just like to use photos i just like to mix everything up and um i do like to use the the on paper to, to kind of break the white page up a little bit um, I actually did this page already uh, before I shot this video I made this page and only after that I got the idea that I should, should film these things and show you guys how how we <laughs> how we do it how I do it uh, so this is actually the second time I made this page um, but um, the first time I made it, I printed the photos on a little um, portable printer. The I got the HP Sprocket, and it's just so so handy because on vacation or when you're traveling, you can just grab 
print some photos, which is awesome. Um, but this time I was at home, so I printed them on um, on just normal normal paper and cut them out later. Um, and um, I just really like using them, using quite a few of them. Uh, they don't really have to be big at all. I mean. It just sparks the memory immediately for me, even though they're like, I don't know, they're like two and a half centimeters tall, the small ones, and the big one is like five or six centimeters. So, um, yeah, I always try to write a little bit about the experience, and, um, oh gosh, it's just so beautiful. <laughs> We're just so happy to be there. Oh, it was, oh God, unbelievable to be there. Steady cam. <laughs> it was quite a walk um, but anyway I'm I'm by no means a professional bullet journal or anything not like, like do you have professional bullet journalers I don't know oh here you go perfect example of Robin's free running skills <laughs> oh god I love him um, god I've totally lost my train of thought gosh Anyway, uh, like I usually don't have a clue of what I'm doing uh, when it comes to journaling or anything. I'm still pretty new to all of this, but I just like to mix it up and um, use the washi tapes and uh, different textures and just adding uh, the little lines and uh, stamps and everything. Uh, most of the things that you see me use here are from the shop aliexpress.com it's a chinese website uh, it takes a while for, it, for all this thing, these things to arrive but it's really affordable and they have a ton of stuff oh that's my favorite washi tape that bit uh that that like postal postal kind of washi tape so yeah obviously it was like the great wall of china was the biggest biggest thing this is my favorite part to actually check off the box like we did it we did it we've been here ah best part of it i thought i was done i wasn't done i wanted to add more stuff um but yeah this is just my way of doing it i'm also planning on doing more variations more styles of how you can fill in pages like just using paint or just using the things that you collect while traveling um all that kind of thing so let me know what you guys would like to see if you like this video give it a thumbs up uh subscribe and uh, i'll see you in the next one thank you so much for watching bye